Hi, Dr. Brad with Weedman Lawn Care. As our lawns awaken from winter and the snow recedes, there can be a lot of surprises that we weren't expecting. One of those surprises is snow mold. Snow mold comes in a variety of different brands. However, traditionally, the one we're talking about the most is that of pink snow mold. Pink snow mold often is found in patches between two and 10 inches, but can really coalesce into much larger areas. On this particular property, the snow mold that we see is no longer active. You can tell the difference by if you see any cottony substances called mycelium growing on the outer edges of the disease. Traditionally, snow mold is not killing our grass, but instead is damaging the leaf tissue above the surface. There are many different brands of snow mold, and for many of them, snowfall is required. However, not all snow molds actually require snow cover. With some of these snow molds, all we need is enough moisture and temperatures to be just above freezing for them to really grow on your lawn. When snow molds are no longer active, the lawn may appear brown or bleached on the surface. Remember, these patches might be two or three inches in diameter or coalesce into much larger areas. Also remember, this is very different. When the disease is active, you might see a pink or gray cottony appearance around the outer edges. Traditionally, because the snow molds aren't killing the grass, you can leave it alone and it will recover on its own. Some folks like to try to rake out that dead material to help things breathe a little bit easier and get some more warmth in there. Either way, I think you're gonna have a great result by the time summer rolls around. How can we prevent snow mold? Traditionally on home lawns, we don't talk a lot about fungicides. On high value turf, maybe like a golf course, fungicides are often applied in the fall to help prevent that disease over the winter. Otherwise, continuing with your great cultural practices of mowing, irrigation, fertilization, and aeration all the way through the fall, you're going to create great growing conditions for your lawn, making it a best case scenario in preventing snow mold into spring. In general, snow mold is very common on home lawns as spring arrives, but remember, generally this is not killing the turf, and maintaining great cultural practices into spring will help your lawn recover and be in great shape.